while, so I got a visa for a day. I was able to explore there, uh, really and not really, <laughs> because I was stuck in a lot of traffic in the taxi. But anyway, for my birthday, I went to South Africa, and I went to Johannesburg and Cape Town. My husband was supposed to go with me, but being a West African and us not um, uh, finished filing his papers uh, to get a spouse or visa, um, they would not allow him in their country. So, right? He's on the same continent, <laughs> but he can't go to South Africa without a visa. And then after that, uh, I went here. I came to Paris. It's been um, almost a month with a friend of mine. She used to live in America, and her daughters were actually made born in America, which is funny. But they've been in Paris all their life, and even though they have American passports, uh, the oldest daughter speaks English pretty good. She's taking English in class, but the youngest daughter, she doesn't uh, really know that much English other than Greek. But uh, it's been an adventure, and of course, you know, on my way from South Africa to Spain, I had another layover in Madrid. I've been to Barcelona before, but never Madrid. And then so I did some touring there. So that's how I kind of got to my seven countries. And my eighth country is uh, my visa was about to expire in, well, it did expire in UAE. So I had to go to Oman. And once you go out the country and come back, you're good. And I came back. So now I'm at this point here. But in March, I kind of figured out. of myself. Uh, life is too short to just work, 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 and not be happy. Not that I hated my job, but I wasn't happy, but I was working to make a living instead of living. And since I 